What's up, everybody? Doc Doc 185. There's levels to this. All right, I'm gonna try to make this real quick. Try to explain this as fast as I can. So I saw a YouTube video of some dude arguing with another dude about Game Pass. Obviously, this guy was pro Sony, but the things he was saying, I, the guy that he was arguing with, didn't know how to come back or rebuttal or just say facts that make sense. Okay, so so here's so here we go. First thing the guy said, right, is. Um, what happens if you don't have good internet connection? How is Game Pass going to work for you? That's a good one. It's not. Game Pass is not going to work for you. You're going to need good internet connection because you have to download these games. Unless you're willing, if you have a slow internet, to just wait for the game to download and go, then go from there. Now, if, if he was under the impression that every single game on Game Pass is streamable, then you, my friend, are informed. You're incorrect. Every single game on Game Pass is not streamable. Console and PC, you're downloading the games. You are only streaming to mobile, meaning a tablet, or you're streaming to a phone. As of right now, they're, they're trying to bring xCloud to PC. It's not there yet. There's other ways around it. Like this, you could get like Android, um, uh, Android like uh, uh, like web browsers on your PC and do it that way. Like I've actually tried it. It works, um, but it's not the ideal. Okay, so that's that's number one. So yes, if you're thinking about do you need internet so for Game Pass to work, yes, so you need good internet. Arguably, depends how long you don't want to wait to download a game. Do you need internet to actually play the game? No. Once it's downloaded, it's downloaded either to your PC or it's downloaded to your console. Okay. So that right there is not the same as PS Now. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. PS Now, you're mostly streaming, right? Yeah, I think you could download a few titles, but regardless, internet, sure, depends, kind of. Okay. Here's another thing that the guy said. I was kind of, I don't know how this guy wasn't able to argue this, this point. He said, so why are you playing for a service that's going to let you play old games? Why don't you just play it on your 360 or on your Xbox One? Okay, so here's the deal. We are paying to be able to play these games at, high, at higher fidelity and better quality if you're buying an Xbox Series X with it. So that's why the Xbox Series X makes sense because you're going to get to experience what PC gamers have been experiencing. So the best way I could put this to you, any Sony fan out there, I'm going to explain it to you like this. I played The Last of Us this year, the first Last of Us. I played it this year on the PS4. I played it with higher visuals than what you played it with on the PS3, and I played it at 60 frames per second, okay? And I played it with a better controller. You're going to argue with me? The PS4 is a better controller than the PS3. The PS4 was playing the game at 60 frames, okay? The PS3 was playing it at 30, uh, and I definitely had higher visuals. You can't argue with it. So my experience of The Last of Us was probably arguably better than yours now if i was if i was to tell you this year before i played it like hey i'm gonna go ahead and play the last of us and your answer to me was well don't get it on the ps4 play it on the ps3 why why would i why would i listen to you why would i even listen to you on anything else ever period so with that being said gears of war i'm gonna play all three of them i'm gonna play them on right now i'm playing on pc i'm playing them way better than anyone else played them on a 360 trust me i'm playing them with a elite controller so i'm playing it with a better controller i'm playing at above 60 frames hey same thing with uh halo 2 that i showed gameplay of i was playing that game at above 60 frames better visuals when i get my xbox series x i'm going to be playing with this thing at even higher visual fidelity possibly 4k 60 like how why why would i not that makes sense. Here's another thing as I keep going so I'm, I don't run out of, out, of, out of freaking space. Regardless of whether you're getting a PS5 or you're getting an Xbox, you will pay to be able to play online. Point blank period. I don't know how much Sony is going to charge for you to play online. But what I do know is that with Game Pass Ultimate, $15 a month right now gets me online gameplay. Plus, it gets me the subscription to Game Pass on PC, on console, and on xCloud. If I'm going to pay for online anyways, why would I not get that? Why would I not get the higher value? And then the last thing, the last point I'm going to make, for someone like me, either you will never be able to argue me off of Game Pass until I play every high-quality game on Game Pass and I have nothing else to play. Because for me, I'm not spending over $20 on a video game. I've already expressed that plenty of times. So $15 a month allows me to play over 100 games? Come on now. That's like, that's like my dream come true. That's like my dream come true. It is exactly like Netflix. For me, I have Netflix. I don't like every single movie on Netflix. But throughout the years, I've had enough good experiences on Netflix that 
I felt a reason to keep the subscription. Another thing about Netflix, because I have a subscription with Netflix, there's movies that I've watched that I would have never watched. I would have never flat out bought. But because I have it on there and I'm, sc- I'm scrolling through seeing what else I could watch, go ahead, let me do it. The same thing with games. I'm sure I'm going to discover games that I would have never played or never given a chance to play that I'm like, wow, I'm enjoying it. Actually, one right now that I'm kind of embarrassed to admit, Minecraft Dungeons. Like, that game's actually pretty dope. And it's got touch controls. That's for a whole another topic about xCloud. But I'm being able to play it because I got Game Pass. So, Game Pass makes sense. To people like me, it makes a lot of sense. I'm playing games at a higher fidelity, at higher frames. Yes, that $500 box is worth it. Ask any PC gamer that has a 2080 Ti playing a game from 20 from 2013. They'll tell you it's worth it. Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.